Okay, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. 
Parate, na parate, parate, na parate, 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 na parate, parate, na parate, 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 na parate, Oh, 
Jehovah Jireh. 
name, Lord, we welcome you in this place. You are high and lifted up. We thank you, Spirit of the living God. We welcome you tonight. You keep on doing great things. Your name is Jehovah Jireh, the Lord our provider. We come before your throne just to say thank you. We give you all the glory and all the praise. Baba Baba wetona manja, uti lawo ote mbala kele uche hofa, unje gomoto chalo na semfule ni amazi. Oma kabunga wa wabuni, baba siya monga, uti mosi, in and out of season, we will be bearing fruit. Baba wetona le, because we are planted by the rivers of living waters, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, have your way tonight. Have your way. Nabo shande kosai. Mande ya daba hande kore ya basata ya ba. Eba baba basi kante ya laba. Sima hande kosai ya laba. Yande kosai ya nebo shada ba. Rema hande kosai ya ntabra ya laba sai. We give you all the glory. Ela maste teke de uba. Ura ba hala maha sata ya laba. Yande koya daba. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, 
Thank you, Jesus. Oh.
wants us to want him. He is aware of what we are going through. I know the situation is a matter of urgency to you. I know. However, the attitude that we come to God with, it is the very same attitude that people come to us with that we do not appreciate. But because we know that he is God and he can take, we think God can just take about anything. Just because he shared, he, he, he sacrificed his only son to die for us. And so we believe that because he did that, God, God, God sent his son to die for us in, in our sin, but not for us to remain in sin. He did it so that he can transform us. He did it so that he can actually bring us to him. And also, I must warn you, God knows when you're just thanking him because you want something. God wants our hearts. That's, that's what I have today. As we were singing, as we were praising, God wants our hearts as a one. God wants it. Will he not do that which you are asking him to do? He will. He is God. He is a sovereign God. He will do that which you are asking him to do. However, we need to be mindful. We need to be careful of how we treat God. We have come here most times and we have said, we have said that um, God is not Father Christmas. I know you are in need and I know it is an urgent situation for you. God wants us to want him. The difference between us and the previous church will be that we come to God with our hearts. The reason why we only had a few servants of God, the reason why we had a few people who were serving God purely with their hearts, it was exactly for this. People came to God because they wanted this and that and the other. People didn't come to God for who he is. And I know that many of us have not been taught. We have been taught that if you want anything, you need to go to God and pray. You have to go and ask God. And that is the truth. If you want anything, you go to God and ask Him. However, I want to present to you that there is a life that one can live. A life that is submitted and yielded to God. That makes God move on your behalf, whether you have asked or you have not. And I want to ask you, Uti, will you be able to live your life like, like Stephen did in the Bible. Acts chapter 7. It talks about Stephen who was stoned. And even as he was stoned to death, he, 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 his focus was on, on the heavens. He even said, I see heaven open. Can we do that? Can we get, but now he did not just do that because he just came to that. He, he, he was told by me or he was told by somebody to do that. No, it is a life, it is the posture of the heart that he had towards God that made him get to a point where he felt like, even if I get it or I don't, Father, you are worthy to be exalted and you are worthy to be praised. Am I saying don't ask? No, that's not what I'm saying. But all that I'm saying is that the Bible says, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart and I will enter his courts with, with praise. Can we just enter his courts with thanksgiving in our hearts? Can we? It is us bringing ourselves to that part. It is us just walking with God as if nothing is happening. The spirit of the Lord will lead you and guide you on that which you need or you ought to pray for. He gives us utterance. Or oh, Acts chapter 2, when, when, when they were gathered in unity in one place, the Bible says that the spirit of the Lord did what? The spirit of the, the spirit of the Lord gave them utterance. He gave them utterance. They didn't just choose what they were going to say. They were given utterance by the spirit of the Lord. Let me go and read it. I just want us, I don't even want us Betuna to, to, to even, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say, I want to, I want to, to teach us to have a grateful heart. Uh -uh. I want to say, Uguti, I want our lives to be lives that are lived towards God. That is what our gratitude will be. That is what our gratitude will be. Our gratitude will be our life to the Lord. Acts chapter 2 coming of the Holy Spirit. Um, 
um, the Bible says, the Bible says, from verse 1 to verse 4, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Amen. They were in one place. They were all in one accord in one place. I'm bulldozing you. <laughs> no, baby, go for it. Go they, for were, it. they were in one accord. Okay, this is what we usually say, Bazalat. We don't plan these things. <laughs> we come here because this is exactly what we want. That's right. We want, That's a, we right. want a spirit-led life. We want to hear from God. We want to hear from yeah. God and do that which the Lord says. Remember Amen. also, as we come here, yes, we are raising an altar of prayer. Remember, the altar of prayer, it is so that you can actually walk a life Praise of the Lord. feeding the altar. That's right. Making That's right. sure that you are always at a place where you are speaking to God and God is speaking to you. That's right. So it actually ministers. It speaks to a posture of your heart and it speaks to a, a the way you live your life. Yeah. So raising an altar of prayer is about the way we live our lives to the Lord. Amen. And for the As, Lord. And for the Lord. We, 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 we are coming at a... The Lord knows what you need, ma. The Lord knows what you need. Yeah. The Lord knows what you need. The Lord mm. knows what you know. Some sometimes, ne, some of us will just go to God, and 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 when you are kneeling down, you had just closed your your bedroom, and you are kneeling down to pray, and you are praying to God. You just want to ask God for this and that and the other, and the Spirit of the Lord just won't allow you to ask Him, and mm. He keeps you at mm. a place where you are like Riba Shakaya and Lebebesa Yaman Talabaya. I praise you, O God. I mm. praise you, O Spirit of the Living. God, you are all that I need that time, that Amen. time that time you know that you actually came here to ask God for something Chonga, do you not want to 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 hey do you not want prayers like your grandmother's prayers, do you not want that today Mm. Do you not want that today? Do you want to wait up until you are your grandmother's age to actually have the wisdom and the revelation of the Holy Spirit that your grandmother is walking at at that age? Mm. But I am telling you and I'm giving you a promise that you are able to walk in that today. Why, why you are talking about this, there are ways of asking from the Father. Yes. You just said if you lock yourself in your room to pray and you are coming with requests to God yes. and the Holy Spirit just keeps you in a different hey. mode hey. because it is not every it's not every request that should just be Lord I am asking but there are ways that the Holy Spirit will teach us to ask from the Lord in a way that is contrary to ours. Mm -hmm. Because we, we, we not only ask in one way. You know yourself, my, my wife has a certain way of asking from me. She's not going to just present a request and say, baby, I saw a beautiful blouse. Or I saw this beautiful, there's this amazing boot that I want to... She, she, she finds a way of softening my heart. The ultimate goal is to ask me for that. So there are times where she will need to describe what she wants to ask. There are times she needs not to describe, but she just needs to find a way of making me soft that I can just say yes. The same with God. Can I level up on that? Come on. Level up in a sense, your booty. Um, so much that... I, I have, I, I do, there are things that he sees for me. There are things that he sits and desires to do for me yep. because of how I am to him. That is another way of asking. Mm. Without you even knowing that you are asking. He would go wherever, he would see whatever and he would send me pictures, would he, and this would look good on you. Mm. Or without me even, as, um, without him even sending me a picture, he would actually uh, 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 just get it because he knows I would love it. Yeah. You yeah. understand? So I am leveling up on that. There are things that I don't ask for from him. Mm. Mm. But he does them because of 
his gratitude, because of his gratitude for, for, for who I am to him, for how I am to him. And it is so with God as well. There's not one way of There's asking. There's not one way of asking. You, you know, we don't have to come to God here with prayer requests. We will be asking for prayer requests. But we want you to be cognizant of the other ways of asking from God. By living a life that pleases God. If you live a life that pleases God, God is your number one priority. God makes you his priority. God will lead you to the, will lead the things that you want your way. You will stumble upon those things that you want. You will, you will, hey, you will pass by Santin for an example. And there's a huge sale of these things that you've been looking for. So there are better ways of asking. Even our children, they also need to, listen here, listen. All we are about here is to, there has to be, oof, you, you know, we've, we've, we as pastors have pushed agendas of growing churches in numbers instead of allowing people to have a rela relationship with God first, then the church second. Relationship with God first, not relationship with the church first and God after. So it is God first. So here we are all about saying you need to, to fix your relationship with God first. Your relationship with God should be number one priority. You cannot allow anything to come between you and God. Who is giving you utterance? Ah. Who, who is telling you what yeah. to pray? Because the Spirit of the Lord is meant yeah. to be praying yeah. through us. Yes, Lord. Who is telling who is telling you what to say? Because the truth <laughs> of the matter is that whatever yeah. the Spirit of the Lord tells you to say, He will do. Whatever He tells you to do, do. Yes. <laughs> so and whatever He tells you to say, yeah. Yeah. He will do it for you. Yeah. Uh, isn't it us who are saying that He is He is oh, there's there's a there's a there's a saying. Mm. Not not to blow among a teti manga, but the saying that says um, he is mm. it, he is, he is faithful to keep his word. Yes, yes. Yeah, he is faithful mm. to keep. So now, if the spirit of the Lord is praying through you, oh, he yes. is faithful to keep that which you are praying for. Okay? Mm. But let, mm. me, let me read. Mm. Let, me, mm. let me read. Matthew 6.33, God first, the rest after. Let me, let me, your, let me. your relationship with God first. So we are here to bring you back into your original position with God. Ooh, okay, go for it. Let me, let me, let me, let me read. Mm, mm. When the day of Pentecost had fully come, <laughs> they were all with one accord mm -hmm. in one place. Mm -hmm. They were all in one accord mm -hmm. in one place, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven mm -hmm. as of a rushing mighty wind mm. and it filled the whole house where they were sitting mm. then there appeared to them divided tongues hey. as of fire come on and one set upon each of them mm. and mamelak verse 4 and they were all filled with the holy spirit mm. and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance. Amen. They began to speak with other tongues mm. as the spirit gave them utterance. I'm going to continue just so that I can I can explain the other tongues mm. part. I'm coming mm. back. Amen. And there were there were there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. Mm. And when this sound occurred, the multitude came together and were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own language. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, no, no, no. We are reading Acts chapter two, from verse one to verse verse seven. Then they were all amazed and marveled, saying to one another, Look, are not all these who speak Galileans? Mm, mm. And how is it that we hear each in our own language mm. in which we were born? Amen. Parthians and 
Parthians and Medes or Medes and Elamites, those dwelling in Mesopotamia, mm. Judea and Cappadocia, mm. Pontus and Asia, um, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya, adjoining serene visitors from Rome. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is you. This is you. This is you. Mm. This is not many people in one room. This is you. Do you know how scattered we are? Do you know how scattered you are as an individual? Do you know how scattered you are? Do you know that you have things that you, you do by the spirit and you have things that you do by your flesh or by your, by your soul? Amen. Do we know how scattered we are as human beings? The reason why we have been talking and preaching about leaning towards your spirit, it is because we, 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 are, we, are, we, 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 we are encouraging unity. Be united within yourself. <laughs> Be one within yourself. We spoke about this at some point. The oneness of self. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they have three different functions and yet they operate as they are one God. Mm. They are one God. Mm. You are flesh. Flesh has its own responsibility to be seen in the earth. Soul has its own responsibility. That's where the mind is, where everything is processed. And then there's spirit, which is what we relate with, with God, right? Mm. So now, if all these three are scattered, you are scattered. Mm. There's no unity that is in you. So the reason why we keep coming here and praying, we are praying and we are fasting. Remember, even when we fast, Tina, we don't come together to fast for this and for that. Mm. No, it is when we are here, when we are praying that when the Lord will therefore reveal to us that which he, he says we can pray for. That is why there will be testimonies. Mm. There are no testimonies because my husband and I are praying. No, there are testimonies because God has actually pushed us to a certain place to actually pray for that which he has for us. Yep. So we are not going to be a people that live frustrated lives. Why? Because when we speak, things become. Why? Mm. Because mm. we allow ourselves, we allow the Holy Spirit to give us utterance. Amen. Right? I'm going back to the oneness, the unity that is you. Amen. So the reason why we keep coming, we keep coming because we have to silence the flesh. We have to make sure that the soul gets quiet because the loudest thing in our lives, we want it to be the spirit. Cynthia, we're going to come back to the testimony. There's somebody else who had a testimony as well. And there's another testimony. All right, great. We're going to come to testimonies. Hmm. Okay, so here you are, spirit. The reason why we keep saying lean towards your spirit, it is so that you are not a child of God who walks around saying, I am spirit, I am spirit, and I live, I, I know I am spirit, I am spirit, I have a soul, and I live in a body, right? So that, so we, 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 we want you to remember that, not only for fun's sake, mm. it's not mm. just a saying that we are going to print t-shirts or dresses or sweaters or no, it is a way of life. Mm. That if I am therefore spirit, the things of the flesh are foolishness to those who are what? I mean, the things of the spirit are foolishness mm. to yeah. those who are perishing. Necessarily meaning that I cannot use the things that are perishing to keep uh, moving my life That's forward. Right. I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. So, we keep coming here because we must be in one accord. The soul must be in line with the spirit. The flesh must be in line with the soul. That is in line with the spirit. Amen. At this point in time, if you can do introspection in your life, you would have to ask yourself, how do you respond to things? Right? Okay, right. So we move on. These people are in one accord, mm. in one place. These people are in one accord, in one place. Mm. They are not scattered. They are not scattered. Mm. They are in one accord, in one place. They are walking in unity. Right? 
it's, it's many people. Mm -hmm. Now imagine what will happen to you the day you are yielded. Remember, the reason why there's still, you, you can still, God is still beside you and you are still here beside God. Yeah. It is because you, are, you have not yet, the word has not yet uh, become flesh. You have not yet become one with God. How? How do we know that we have now become one with God? We know we have now become one with God because whatever the Lord says, do we do? Mm. Regardless of how we may feel about it. Because we no longer consider how we feel about things. Amen. But we consider what the Spirit of the Lord feels about things. Mm. Right? Mm. So we are a mm. people that, that look so unrealistic to the social world or to social standards. Because mm. Tina, we will wake up in the middle of the night even though we are not feeling well in our body. But mm. because the Spirit of the Lord says wake up and pray for your neighbor, you wake up and you pray for your neighbor because you are a person who wants to walk in the spirit. Amen. When you just want God help, not with what you say, but with what you do. So you are a person, therefore, who is in one accord with the mm. spirit of the, you are one, you are, you are one, you are not scattered, you, are, you, you don't have to hold a, a, a meeting between yourself, or even if you do, actually you get to a point where, you come to a point where you're like, ah, uh -uh, listen, silence mm. in the mm. court, mm. silence in the court, silence in the court, one person must speak, Amen. and that person who's going to speak is the strongest one in you. All right, so this is how it's, the reason why we are failing to apply the word, it is because we are nursing our feelings. You cannot be nursing your feelings and want to, to nurse God at the same time. The that is, not, that is yeah. not how it works. So mm. the reason why we keep coming here, the way we do, it is so that, Jonga, we need this. You think you need this every day. We need this. It helps us. Mm. We look at each other sometimes and we're like, yo, we no longer where we used to be. Mm. We mm. need mm. this. We need to come to a point where it is Christ who rules. Amen. You understand? And it is an application of a daily thing. You're not just going to wake up one day and then 10 points. Bah. It is one point at a time. The yeah. Spirit of the Lord says this, you do it, you move on. The Spirit of the Lord says this, you do it and you move on. The more you keep doing that, the less you keep appearing well. Oh, so it is not in what you say. Yes, we, we come to pray in so many words. Less of me and more of you. No, no, no. It is not in what you say, in less of me and more of you, you will see it as you continue to obey God yeah. in the things that he says. That's right. So the reason why we fast, it is so that you teach yourself how to self-control. How do you starve the flesh from the things that the flesh wants? When you think what the flesh wants is, is food, uh -uh. let me talk about how you want to respond to things. This is where I, what I always say, how you want to scream at everyone. Because when you know that you are a, an angry person, everybody mm. knows you. But when you react to things, you just, you, you understand, you know. So, so this, is, this is you leaning towards the spirit of the Lord, telling you, telling you who you are, what you should do, and mm. when you should do it. So we come here every day because they, we are soldiers. We are like soldiers in the army. We are like soldiers in the army. Yes. We are stronger because there are obstacle courses every day. When mm. you go to team building, you even gear up for team building. You are told to wear red, you wear red. And you are, you are told you are in the other group, you must wear black, you wear black. You never complain about it. Or even if you complain, there is nothing that you can do because oh, it is set, the rules are set. The rules are set. Right? So that you can appear with everyone being in oneness. So, every day of your life, the things that you want to do, that is where we fail. I don't know what we think this thing is about. We think this thing is about quoting scripture. It's not about quoting scripture. It is about scripture becoming us. Okay? So these guys are in one accord. In one place. The Bible did not only say in one accord. The Bible had to say they were in one accord, in one place. Everything is in agreement here. Everything here is in agreement. And they are in one place. They are not scattered standing everywhere. They are in one place. 
right? And and then there's a, a sound, and then there's a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues. Amen. There appeared to them what? Divided tongues. Mm. And in their tongues, go verse 5, go to where, uh, uh, these guys, oh no, it was verse 6. And when this sound occurred, the multitude came together and were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own language. Yeah. They were given what to say. It goes on, actually, go verse 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other Tons. tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. utterance. Mm. They spoke with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Mm. They spoke with other tongues. They didn't speak the... <laughs> they didn't speak their language. What am I saying when I'm saying their language? You know when you actually come together with somebody and, and you are talking and talking and talking and you, and you are excited, you are busy sharing ideas and you're like, oh, you're speaking my language. They were not speaking, they, they, they were not speaking their own language. They were speaking the language of the Spirit as given by the Spirit. Though these ones heard them like they were speaking in their languages, but they were given utterance by the Spirit of the Lord. Tinag, this is, this is where we are coming to when we are saying that we are going to come together and we're going to pray. And when we pray, we're just going to get here. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Before we can say, Father, I don't have sugar in my house and whatever. Can we allow ourselves to be taken over by the Holy Spirit Ooh. that he can actually give us other tongues? Can he just give us other tongues so that we may speak as the Spirit of the Lord gives us utterance. How many times have you gone into the presence of the Lord and got there and laid everything that you wanted to lay before Him? Mm. And never said anything that the Spirit of the Lord wanted you to say. Well, the only person you pray for is yourself. And Sana, when I say yourself, I mean it is you, your family, your siblings, your aunt, your friends, your whatever. That is all that you pray for. And then you say, Amen. And then you get up and you go. The Spirit of the Lord hasn't spoken through you. When God is busy looking for vessels, people that he can use in the earth, when not being a prayer warrior that you are, you only go in to speak about yourself. The Spirit of the Lord wants to, wants to say things. He wants to say things through you. He wants to speak things through you. He yeah. wants to speak things into existence for other people. For, he cannot use you. But every night when we gather here, we gather here and say, use me, Lord. And he used me, Lord, we think, Uguti, he used me, Lord, it means, Uguti, you must have the, the nice nails and, and, and nice two-piece and, and nice uh, hair, but in, and a nice hat, and then you must have a matching outfit because now you, you, must, you must do the work of the Lord. Sana, the work of the Lord can be something that is done in the closet. Ask the intercessors. Ask people who are intercessors. Yeah. So if you want to walk in, in one accord with the Lord, you do as though he tells you, as you do as he tells you to do. You say as he tells you to say. Jonga, when Jesus comes to say, not my will, but that, yeah, he remembers. He remembers. He comes to his senses. Woo, it's not even about how I feel. It is not my will. It is, but yours be done. But he didn't just say it. He didn't just say, he did it. Amen. And if Jesus can did it, you can did it. You also can did it. So the kingdom of God is not about words. The kingdom of God about power. is about power. Hey. And the power, get babes, is not power that we hear. It is things that we see. Because Galoku, when you speak, we must be transformed. Because you are not speaking from you, you are speaking from the Spirit of the Lord. I am going to ask you to do something very crazy. Go into your closet, get there, and say nothing until the Spirit of the Lord 
tells you what to say. If you are able to speak in other tongues, get in there, speak in other tongues, allow the spirit of the Lord to speak through you. Can you even stay five days without praying for yourself? Would you ever be able to? You think the Lord doesn't know what you need? No. We need to, if we want to walk in power, we need to be a people who are always ready for God to speak through us, for God to do through us. The reason why we have Jesus coming into the earth as flesh and blood, is those are the rules of engagement. Here in the earth, we engage in it. Your body, your flesh. I am spirit, I have a soul, I live in a body. That's how we engage here. That is how we engage here. You must be what? You must be this thing. But he walks and he shows us that this thing cannot tell me what to do. Oh. That is the reason why he gets to a point where he says, Yes! Yeah, <laughs> let this cup pass. Yeah. That is why he even gets to the well and he says, I'm thirsty. Why? Because this thing thirsts, Kalok. This thing hungers. Oh, let me rhyme. This thing flirts. Ooh. This thing does a whole lot of things. It wants this, it wants that. It wants this, it wants a whole lot of things. Against what the spirit wants. But as long as we walk scattered. So we, we are here to just advise you or to encourage you to come back to God. To the place where you come from. Die every day. Allow yourself to die daily. We are back at that. Allow yourself to die daily. Allow yourself to die daily. So the book of, the very same book of Acts, chapter 7. I want to I wanna, I wanna read to you something that you know. There's a song that we used to sing. Zibona mazule vule gile. Wacho ustefano. Zibona mazule vule gile. Wacho ustefano. Zibona mazule vule gile. You understand? Listen to this. Stephen the Matthias, when they heard these things, as in other versions, they actually say uh, the stoning of Stephen. Mm. When they heard these things, they were cut to their heart and they gnashed at him with their teeth. Mm. But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God and said, Look, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Then they cried out with a loud voice, stopped their ears and ran at him with one accord. And they cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at the feet of a young man named Saul. And they stoned Stephen as he was calling on God, saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not charge them with the sin. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Ah, do you know what is happening in your life right now? People of the spirit, they don't die, they fall asleep. Do you know what is happening to you right now? Oh. Do you know the things, the things that are happening to you right now, the things that you, you feel are very painful and you need to pray to God for and ask God that, please, Lord, take this thing off of me. Like I said when we started, he is God. He will do it. He does not. He is not advised by me. Amen. I want to get to that point as well, like Abraham, and, 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 and be a friend of God. He's, he's not advised by me. You understand? So he will do that which he says he will do. However, if, if, if you were to see yourself as being stoned by the things that you are going through, would you be able to just look up to heaven and just focus on heaven? Can you just focus on heaven? Is it possible for you to focus on heaven? Oh. Are we yet at that place? Are we there yet? Can we get to a point where we are there? What would we do if we prayed to God for something for 12 years and he is not doing 
what you are asking him for. I know people in life who have great to have children, who are on fire for God. They are married for 12 years. They don't have children. They are married for 22 years. They don't have children. They have been crying to God. But they still continue to serve God. Even with their story. If God does not give you what you want, would you still stay here? Would you stay here? Can we want God for God? This is that season. This is the, the reason why we are here every day. We are here for that season. That is what God has called us into. That is what God has called us for. To call his people back to him. Not just by prayer. Not just by the word. But with their hearts. Can I just jump in? Yes. We are here to prepare you for your season. We are here to prepare you for your season. When your season comes, you must be ready. When your season comes, you must be ready. <clears throat> so it is of utmost importance that you grasp and go and study the word by yourself, for yourself, so that you can know God for yourself, so that you can hear from God for yourself. You do not need no assistance to hear from God by yourself. Unless you have a problem, do you know the people who were the hearing aid? It is because this ear, they are not, it's not 100% fully functioning. Hence the hearing aid. So we are here to prep you for your season. Because when your season comes, it may be... Um, your season to be fruitful, a season to produce food, fruit. But when your season comes and you've not been watered enough, you will not produce. So we are just here instructed by God to prep you for your season. So we are watering you. Because when your season comes, God says you must be ready. And a lot of people have reached their season, but they are not producing. Some are producing in hundredfold, in multiples. But some are looking at others, how are you doing it? How did you do it? What did you do? We are born. So the problem is you neglected time of being prepared. The same with the same with languages. There are languages on earth that are spoken. But when we pray, we elevate from our language to the language of the spirit because there is another language. But you can only be able to speak in that language if you are cognizant of the Holy Spirit and you live leaning more towards the Holy Spirit. And then as you spend time in fellowship with the Holy Spirit through prayer, he gives you utterance. You begin to utter. He gives you things to say. Because when your season comes, you will find that you are not, you don't have to command things. But you will just flow in the spirit and things will begin to happen when your season comes. So you need to understand that what we are doing here is to prep you for your season. Because when your season comes, it will be a season for you to operate. There's something that just, just came, an analogy that just came. You know when, when, when we go to buy a cow or a goat, let me, let me talk about a goat. You know when we go to buy a goat or a sheep to slaughter it, to have a bry or whatever it is that we're going to have, right? That thing runs away. It will always try to run because it knows that it is being taken to the slaughterhouse. 
it knows that it will be slaughtered. The cow and the goat, yeah. Yeah, the cow, the goat, the, the sheep. Not the, the sheep. The sheep is very, it's, it's very the sheep kind. Is quite, it's yeah, quite the, the sheep, you just grab it, Meh. it just goes with you. Yeah, the boozy. Ah! Okay. <laughs> so, so imagine us being like the goat and the cow. Chonga, even if you run away, we will run after the goat. We have paid the price for it. Kalok, that's the thing. The problem is that we have, we have paid for you. We have paid for you. So we are going to run after you, catch you, kill you. Whether we do it now or one hour later when we catch you, but the, the, the truth of the matter is that we are going to kill you because you must serve the purpose with which we, with the reason why we bought you was so that we can do what we can eat. So what we are going to do is, even if you run, we will run after you, catch you, bring you back, kill you, and then we bribe you, and then we eat. That is the same with us and God. So what is the point of running around? What is the point of running around, trying to run away from God, from the things that he says you must do? Because you were bought with the price. And anyway, at the end of the day, yeah. you must serve your purpose. Yeah. You were bought with the He's not going to let you go. So it's either you can, you can submit and yield yourself now and just get this thing over and done with, or you can keep running for another two years. Mm. But the truth of the matter is that somebody else is going to come. Because if the old man cannot catch the goat, they will call the young men to go and catch the goat. And if the young men are unable to catch the goat, they are going to run after... The boys will run after the goat with bicycles. Some will come with their cars. And then, even if they don't just take you like that to go and, they will chase you. You fall down and then you are taken. And then you must do what? You must save the... Why? Because you were bought with the press. So the Lord keeps running after us like that, Betul. We are not going anywhere until we serve the purpose. So yield today, not next year. Because the truth of the matter is that for the past 15 years and for the past 20 years, this is the thing. This is the thing that you have been playing. We have been playing this thing. When, when you know, Ooh, I'm about to be slaughtered, and then you run away. And then you come back, and some of you are wondering why things are not coming together, and yet they want things to come together in their lives. It is because you are refusing to go to the slaughterhouse. You are refusing to go under the knife. Now, we, we, all, all we are here for is to prep you for your season. To everything, there's a time and a season for every purpose. So we are preparing you for your season. Because your season will come. It, there's a harvest time. Before harvest time, it's, plowing, it's a plowing season. So you need to understand that we are here to prepare you. We were prepared it was not nice. We were prepared. We went through the season of being tested and tried. We went through a season where the word that was preached to us had to be tested. And so, and we, la la la, there's a class you fail, you will repeat. Some of you are repeating a class they already went through. You are repeating it again because you are not focusing. So you have to focus and understand the purpose. Because once this class is done, listen, we will not be here forever preaching on TikTok. There will come a time where everyone will be silenced. Yes, baby, go for it. Good. Go for it. This this is, this is what I'm hearing. Um, Uguti, we love the goosebumps that come from the preaching of the word. We like to jump up and down. Amen, hallelujah. We like, we like the things that we feel when the word is being preached. 
and the Lord has a case against us for that. That's what God is saying. We love it. We come. We, we, we don't mind anymore. We come because we want the goosebumps that we feel when we come here. But God says we don't do it. We come here, we are excited. We want the excitement. We, we are excited by it. But we are, not, we are not doing it. We are not accepting it. We are not receiving it. We just come here to hear what, 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 what the elders are going to talk about today. And when we say that, we say we are coming here to hear what the word is saying today. No. We are not coming to hear what the word is saying because we just want goosebumps. This is entertainment. This is entertainment to the flesh. This is entertainment to the flesh. This is entertainment to, because we come here every day, but we don't do. The Spirit of the Lord says, you come in, you, some people are here just for the excitement. That yo, 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 yo. That's, that's what we are here about. Mm. We are here about the excitement. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm, 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 I'm not sure. I'm not sure mm. why you are here, but I, I, I hear the Spirit of the Lord say it. Oguti, Tina, we are here because we want to get excited. It's not that we grow. Some of us do grow. Some of us do grow, but some of us are not growing. We just come here to be tickled, our ears, and then after that, we go back to, to whatever it is that we are. We do come in. That's what we do with church. That's what we have been doing with church. That's why the Spirit of the Lord has been crying that he hovers over us, but he never finds a place where he can actually dwell. So that's what we do with the word. We come here to be excited. It's not for all of us. So search, do search your heart and do find what, with the word that you hear. What do you do? Because it's, there's no other magic as a line. We have no, we, our, our vocabulary is limited. We are not professors of languages. There, there is absolutely no, there's nothing else that we can say. There's nothing else that we can say. We have no nice words to say anything more than what we say. But we, 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 we just say that which the Lord says it must be said, but we need to we need to be transformed. The word transforms us, and we need to actually do it. How do you know you are growing? It is if you do it. And I usually say to us, as I encourage you, don't be afraid. You are not alone. You are not the only one who is being cut on a daily basis. You are not the only one. You are not the only one. We get cut daily. I get cut daily. Now I have my own places where I run away and I know I'm supposed to be doing something, but I'm not doing that which I'm supposed to be doing. So the Spirit of the Lord wants to settle in us. Remember, we, he even said the other day that we are now a generation of people who will gather and the Spirit of the Lord will come, but we leave him wherever we had gathered. We never take him home with us. And when God says he wants our hearts, that's one of, that's one of the things that he wants. He wants us to actually, he, he wants us so that he can actually sit, so that he can actually dwell in us. So we need to hear and go and do. If you don't know what you are going to do, listen to the instructions that you are getting, especially the things that you feel you, you want to do, you don't want to do then you will know the Spirit of the Lord is guiding you not to do that. Whatever it is that you... Ooh, I... Now, we... we Listen, Mazalola, the teachings that we, we, we do here, you, you have to go and practice. Lizok sebenzela uma ulizwa ulkolwa besu ya Yabona maulamgela. Lizok sebenzel. Uma ulizwa. If you hear it. Besu yal kolwa. And you believe it. And we alamukela. And you receive it. So the word of God will work for you if you believe it. Upon hearing it, you believe it. And you receive and confess that this is mine. And then you begin to walk in it. Exercise it. Because it will be useless and pointless for us to keep coming here 
pray, teach, but your lives do not change. So the practicality of the word of God is, is what we need now to, to begin to do, to be practical about the word of God. Be practical with the word of God. Praise the Lord. May the Lord uh, bless the reading of the word. Now and forevermore. Amen. Now we have testimonies. Uh, was it Kathy? Who was it? Was it Lerato? Who was it? Cynthia? Mm, and, and I someone, think it was Cynthia. Someone, Julia. Um, who said she has a testimony? Was, was it Cynthia? Cynthia? Yes. I saw Cynthia. And, and, and I saw someone, Ju Julia. So, so Ellie, uh, Ellie um, this afternoon I received, was it this afternoon or in the morning? I received a message from, um, please quickly check your WhatsApp for me. I receive a, a message of a testimony from someone who is a part of this community, someone who is part of this family. Um, yes. <laughs> Can you please read that testimony? So this is a testimony that we received today. This, I think it was during the day. Amen. Amen. Um, good day, Pastor. I'm not going to say the name. My name is... Mm, I joined Raising an Altar of Prayer last year. And I have been praying to God for a blessing. And He has indeed shown up for me. And prayer works. I have been sent an offer letter this morning. And I am starting tomorrow with training. Thank you for including me in your prayers. Last night, I thanked God for giving me this job and received an offer letter in the morning. Last night, I thanked God for this job and received an offer letter in the morning. So, um, this person has been... Um, I'm, I'm not sure, but the name is Ayanda. I'm not sure if it's a, a male or a female. So Ayanda says um, they've been with us since last year, right? They joined last year and um, Ayanda had this one request from the Lord. And this year, the Lord has answered. And yesterday, Ayanda thanked God for the job. And today, Ayanda received the offer letter. And Ayanda is starting tomorrow morning with training. Right? And, and this happens, um, we are coming from fasting and prayer. And when we go for fasting and prayer, we are not going to God with a list of prayer items. You know, we are not going to God with a list of prayer items that prayer number one, Father, I want um, I want to paint my house to be gray. Please provide me with, with paint. No, we go to God for him. I was speaking to my friend Kanyiso today, um, who is back home in Deben. And I said to him, there is a mystery with us going home. Yep. When when things yep. do not come together, yep. you know we are in Johannesburg, yep. and all of us in Johannesburg are here from different provinces. We are here to try the luck if it's gonna work, right? So Ukanyiso went back home, and now I'm saying to him, sometimes the 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 solutions and the answers that we are looking for, the key. To those things is at home. When you are coming to God with a list of things. And there is just this word that says, go home. And we refuse. Ah, what's the point of going home just to go and sit? And, and most of us, myself included, it had to take for me to lose my car. <laughs> After they took my car. I, my dad calls me and he says, come home. And when, we, when I got home, day one, Monday, we fasted and we prayed. We were fasting for three days. Day one of our fasting and prayer, boom. 
um, um, God answers. So there is nothing as important as understanding that there is an angel that is, allo that is allocated for your family. And your things, sometimes you just have to go home. And just sit at home. They're not going to be asking you for bread money or for <laughs> electricity true. money. Yeah. You know, you are coming there because yeah, you ponyegile, ushayegile. Johannesburg is not for the faint-hearted. So, Dr. Prenziva says, I will not do justice if I also do not tell people what I ask you to do for me. If it was... It was, oh, not, even it was not even a week. And then he says, then he was called for two interviews. Then he was called, okay, so this happens last week. So Dr. Prenziba came here last week, I think it's Monday, if not Tuesday. Was it last week? It's last week. No, no, it's actually last week, uh, early in our fasting. And he said he has been with his employer for 10 years. Yes, without a promotion. With no promotion, no salary increase. 10 years. And he says, I'm going to be joining your prayer and fasting. Between Monday or Tuesday, on Friday morning. Yeah, Friday morning. Eh? It was on Friday. Dr. Prenziba sends us a um, uh, We were live, I think, during the day. It was the 12 o'clock prayer, if I'm not mistaken. He says, I have been called for two interviews. Two interviews. In less than a week. And we, thank God for that. and we thank God for that. So, when are the interviews, Dr. Prenziba? One is tomorrow. One is tomorrow. And I think the other one is Friday, because he had said he has an interview on, on, on Wednesday and on Friday, but he's going to tell us. When I open my computer, boom, two invites. One is tomorrow, and the, and the next one is? I will attend to this paper. I saw it. The next one, so the, the first one is tomorrow, Dr. Prenziba, and the second interview, so it's 15 and 16. Okay. So they are this week. So it's actually Wednesday it's and Wednesday. Thursday. Yeah. Okay. So we thank God already Amen. that doors are opening. Right? Amen. Um, my nephew survived a serious car accident. I received the call after our marathon prayer. That's, that's Cynthia. Cynthia says her nephew survived a hectic accident. She received a call just after a prayer marathon. And and listen, listen, Basalwan. The Lord is um Nalu said, um, is saying her, her husband, or she asked for her husband to get a job, and then um, today he had an interview. We bless God. We continue to come back to thank God. It does not matter how small your testimony is. I don't even know what a small testimony is. Because if you ask, and the Lord responds, you ask for a job, and God responds with an interview, an invite to an interview. You come back and you say, Bazalwan, I've just been called for an interview. Now we are saying, Lord, you are faithful. We come back and we say, Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we thank you for open doors. We come against anything that may close this door in the name of Jesus. You go for an interview. As you are there, we are praying. You come back with a testimony. And the Lord is faithful. The Lord is faithful. Amen. Our God, your God, whom you serve Amen. faithfully, Amen. continually, will deliver you. Our God is busy delivering us. Indeed, last week was fire from ending of contracts. Um, is a casual to a permanent position. Our God is faithful, Basalwan. We are not... Keep, we are not coming back to God for blessings, for jobs, for promotions. We are coming back for him. And then he, he gives us according to our expectation, according to our desires. This is why the book of Mark chapter 11 verses 24, it says, Whatsoever you desire when you pray, because when you pray, there must be a desire. 
There must be a desire. Yes, according to the book of, last week we were, we were on the book of Daniel chapter 6. Verse, we were reading the whole chapter. But verse 16 was when, um, when King Darius says to Daniel, after they threw him in the den of lions, he says to him, Daniel, um, your God whom you serve will deliver you. Your God whom you serve I don't know who has an interview. In fact, Dr. Perenziba, your God, whom you serve, continually. continually will deliver you, sir. Whoever else has an interview coming, your God, I think it was Cynthia, Ubanote, who husband, who had an interview today, your God, whom you serve continually, will deliver you. I have another testimony. Yes, baby. One, um, thanking us for the uh, appreciating the ministry, and then she says, I'm humbled, I can now pray without ceasing. Amen. I am humbled, I can now pray with us. That is the reason of why we come here that you may be dependent on God, mm. that you can rise up and pray by mm. yourself. Remember, I know there are people who are here mm. who have a list of things that you want God to do for mm. you. Mm. But mm. one of the greatest things that the Lord is doing with you is that one, he raised you up. Yep. He raised you up within yep. yourself. You were no longer reading the word. You were no longer praying. Mm. You were just feeling dull and you were feeling mm. down. And the Lord has raised you up. The Lord has given you hope. That's what God has done with you. And that is one of the greatest things ever because now you are able to do things that you were not doing before. Some of you were not even present in your family's lives because you felt depressed. So I don't want us to think that the, 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 the things that God does for us are just. They are not just the material things. They are not just physical things. They are not just jobs and houses and cars and everything. No, they are not just that. The truth of the matter is, actually, just step, look at yourself. Look at how you are growing. Look at how you are able to read the word. And what does the word do for you? What has it been doing for you? Look at how you are able to stand on your own two feet. Look at the decisions that you are now making. You are now making decisions that lead you to life. Because some, some of us, we are, we are not in need because of, 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 of the devil or whatever. No, we are in need because of the things, the decisions that we have made. That were not informed by God. That were not informed by the Spirit of the Lord. But now that you have come back to your way, now that you have come back to God, you are able to hear God say yes and you are able to hear God say no. And now you no longer kick and scream the way you used to. Strong. That is something to be grateful for. The fact that you are standing, the fact that you can even listen to a preaching when, the fact that you can listen to people pray when you know for the past two years it, it's been, it's been, it's been, you didn't even want to hear anyone read the word. You had lost all hope in God. You and you are here thinking, when is my turn coming? Your turn has been coming, but you have not been seeing. You have not been seeing it. Look at you. Look at the strength that you are standing in. Even if you think it is small, according to the scale that you are using. Look at you. Look at how you are able to address things in the spirit. been so good to you. The Lord has been so good to you. The Lord has been so, and he's going to continue. Just remain here. Remain here. When I say here, I don't mean here in this life and in this altar. I mean remain in that position in God and watch God move you from glory to glory to glory. Some of you, it's your marriages that were falling apart. And it is not that anything has changed in your marriage, but it is that something in you is changing. respond to things. We all have a testimony here. Amen. All of us, we all have a testimony here. We're supposed to be dancing here. 
but we treat God the way we treat people. How our relationships are not working. It is because instead of saying, baby, thank you for making the bed in the morning, you are busy thinking, why are you leaving your socks everywhere? That's how we are. That is why we are unable to thank God for the things that are very important to us. We are about to pray.
Spirit of the living God, in this place we acknowledge you as God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our God, our Father. Elohim El Shaddai Alpha and Omega Where would we be without you? Even tonight we have preached your word we have taught Father they have heard your word <laughs> The same way as the Israelites heard the same word that was preached to them. But it never profited the Israelites because they did not mix it with faith. We have an opportunity, Father. Father, I pray, whoever takes this word, oh God, whoever believes in this word, and they decide to take this word for themselves. May it work for them, oh God. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus. May they mix it with faith, my God. That they may see the results of this word. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are the living word. You are the word. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, whoever has heard this word tonight, we pray, Spirit of the living God, as they take it, if they believe it. We pray, Spirit of the living God, you are not a man that you would lie. You are not a man that you will change your mind. A son of man that you will change your mind. Tonight, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. We are all in one accord. Baba, may they come back with their testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus that your name may be glorified that your name may be lifted we already thank you in advance because we know your word that it works for those who mix it with faith we acknowledge you as our Savior in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we are coming back to you, Lord, with our hearts. We are in the name of Jesus. We are our hearts. Oh, Shade. You deserve our hearts, oh Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You deserve our lives, oh God. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, have your way. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
I know that oh, you lay my heart in your hands. It is in the same place, oh Father God. Oh, yes.
The enemy is very devious. He will come through your spouse, the one whom you trust the most. He came to Adam through Eve. He came to Adam through Eve. He comes to Jesus through Peter. And when Jesus says, get thee behind me, Satan. Why? Because he identifies. Do not allow. Do, I repeat, do not. If the Lord says, do not pay attention to your scars, no wounds. Don't pay attention to your wounds, no scars. Do that which the Lord says you must do. And when you get into your prayer closet tonight, after this prayer, pray as the Lord leads you. Avail yourself to God tonight. Avail yourself to God. Don't stop. Because I'm telling you now, even as you go into that prayer closet to pray, there are things that the Lord is going to do for you, even if you are not going to pray for yourself. We bless God for this time. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, saints, for coming through. We are done for tonight. You will find this on YouTube tomorrow. Um, we have a YouTube channel as well. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Raising an Altar of Prayer. Raising an Altar of Prayer. Um, please subscribe. You will be able to see other teachings and other worship moments that we have had. We really appreciate you guys coming in and we do not want to take much of the time because we are coming back here tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. We are back here tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. So we are here precisely an hour. So the morning sessions are precisely an hour. So please make sure that at 5, when we go live, you are here. Because we, we, we go as the Spirit of the Lord directs us. We do what he tells us to do. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Please keep holding on. Please. Do not yes. give up. Yes. Just because God has not yet answered yes. your prayer, yes. it does not mean throw in the yes. towel. Keep coming here. Our God, whom we serve faithfully and <laughs> continually, he will deliver you. But before God delivers you, he wants you. Amen. He wants you. Amen. Sometimes your prayers are not answered because you keep avoiding God. Stop avoiding God. Just face up and meet God. You'll be amazed at the kind of a relationship that you will have with the Lord. He wants you. When you keep coming to God for more of his blessings, you just want handouts. And God says, no, 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 relationship. Get to know me. I know what you need. You don't even have to ask me what you need. Just spend time. Just a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's have a little talk with Jesus. Okay. Let us meet back here, right here, tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. We are here praying until 6. The Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine his face on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us. Surely goodness and mercy will follow us, will follow you all the days of your life. Dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Strive to fix your relationship with God because it is the most important thing that you need. God bless you. God bless your family. We will see you tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Shalom. Amen. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. God bless you and good night. Thank
See you tomorrow morning. Goodbye.